Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today we are back with another question in our Lead Code 150 DSA question series. So today's problem is find the duplicate number. A very good problem and having multiple approaches that can be used to solve this particular problem. Well, we'll be discussing more about it. But before proceeding further, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you and you can follow me on other platforms as well the link is there in the description itself so let's get started with the problem statement now the problem says given an array of integers nums containing n plus one integers where each integer is in the range one to n inclusive there is only one repeated number in nums return the repeated number you must solve the problem without modifying the array nums and uses only constant extra space right so what we have been given ki hume ek array diya integers ki array diye gaye hai jisme n plus 1 integers hai and the, the, the range is from 1 to n and also it is mentioned ki ek repeated number hai given array mein there is one repeated number and we have to return that repeated number they are saying that you have to solve this problem without modifying the array and without using any extra space right so here if talking about this particular example so here you can see we have one three four two two so two is the repeated one so we are getting two as the output similarly here if you will see in the next example we are having three as the repeated one hence we are getting three as the output right so here's the constant been listed you can just uh, go through it well now what could be the approaches to solve this particular problem right so this is the thing one approach could be is that you just pick up one element right you just pick up so here here if you will see we are having one three four two two right so just pick up one element and just compare it with rest of the elements if it is a duplicate then you will definitely find another existence of this element and then simply return that one three you will check then four you will check then two you will check so two uh another element you have got right so this could be the one approach for solving this problem where you know uh one loop is responsible the outer loop is responsible for selection of one element and then inner loop is responsible for the comparison with the remaining all the remaining elements right to determine if it is a repeated element or what so what is the time complexity big of n square right other approach could be is that uh, we can maintain a frequency map right so one has occurred once so if you will do so already we have solved multiple problems such so i believe you must be knowing how to you know create a frequency map and all those things right so three has occurred three has occurred once four has occurred once so 2 is the only element that is occurred twice so you can return 2 but again here we are using the constant uh, extra space right and the time complexity will be big of n obviously but the question says that if we can you know um, solve this without using extra space so this was one approach this was one approach another approach could be that just sort the array so let's say you have sorted this array so you will get 1 2 2 3 4 so now you have sorted the array so you can now compare the adjacent elements and if they are equal so obviously it is a you can determine um, you can determine what that okay duplicate elements so one you are going to compare with two then two you are going to compare with two so obviously we got a match and let's say here was something else let's say uh, we had one two three four Four. So one you're gonna compare with two, then two you're gonna compare with three, then three gonna compare with four, four gonna compare with four. So we got a match, right? So uh, this also could be one approach for solving this particular problem. Well, here as if you are sorting the array first, right? So the first time complexity of sorting the array would be n log n. So the time complexity for solving uh, by using this approach is going to be n log n. So now is there any way to solve this problem with some other approach well that could be quite surprising for you but yes so here we're gonna use linked list approach here linked list approach of finding so yesterday we solved the problem to detect a cycle in the linked list so now think this problem in this in this way detect the point 
from where the cycle has been started i know i know uh, right now you must not be getting exactly what i'm trying to say so let's take this 1 okay so if i am taking this as in a form of a link list so how i would be so first we started from the initial point initial point that is 1 right now at 1 so this is at 0 the index we are having 1 so now at 1 index what we are having we are having 3 then at third index what we are having at third index what we are having we are having 2 right now at second index at second index what we are having 4 4 at fourth index what we are having 2 means like a cycle got created like this right a cycle got created right a cycle got created okay now now so this problem has been transformed from the problem now that you have to determine the starting point of the starting starting point of determining the cycle in the link list so here what is the starting point that only is the duplicate so two is there right so two is there so two would be the output so how will we doing this how will we doing this so we have slow and fast so slow and fast both pointers as of now understand in this way they both are on first node now slow we are going to move one step ahead and fast we are going to move two step ahead so let's say if this is given in the form of array right so we will update slow as nums of s and fast as nums of nums of fast right so initially both s and slow and fast is zero so nums of zero will give you what one so slow is uh, on this one right then fast slow is on this one and 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 fast fast is nums of fast means nums of zero is what one now nums of one is what three so when slow is here when slow is here right fast is here right now again we will update now again we will update we will update so s s and f let me write here s and f one and three now again we will update uh slow so slow uh again the same thing nums of s s is nothing but one so nums of one is going to give us three so now slow will be here then fast would be where so nums of fast fast was what previously it was three right it was three so nums of three is going to give you what two right so here it will be replaced with two so nums of two is nothing but four nums of two is nothing but four so when slow is here because fast is moving ahead like slow is moving if slow dot next then fast is moving as fast dot next dot next like that right so when slow is here when slow is here fast would be here so again we'll be we'll be uh, updating so now uh, slow is what three so nums of three is going to give you what nums of three is going to give you what two so slow would be here now this time and fast would be updated as so as of now the fast was on four so nums of four nums of four is going to give you two and nums of two is going to give you what four itself because see if you will do fast dot next then again next because here's a cycle right fast dot next and then again next if you will do right Pass dot next and then again next you will do so we will be on this score only right so we will be on this score only so fast obviously will be remaining will remain as score only now again we will uh, update the value so some so this slow value is going to be what nums of 2 is going to give you what 4 and similar thing if you will do for here so nums of 4 is nothing but 2 and then nums of 2 is nothing but 4 so we will get 4 so now slow and fast both are pointing to the same place both values are same right or you can say both are pointing to the same node although we are not having the node exactly node here 
but we are thinking in that way right we are thinking in that okay we are having a no right so when we have to stop doing this process again and again when slow and fast has reached to the same place so now they both are pointing the values are equal so we will stop right now uh, if you will see this is this is the starting point right this is the starting point of our this is the starting point of the cycle and this part itself is being repeated that part itself is duplicate and that part only we have to return so let fast be here itself where it is let let fast be here itself and slow value slow value we are going to again update as slow value we are going to again update as zero itself so again this time we will move one step ahead if you will see mathematically this distance and this distance post uh, the cycle is equal so one step we will move from slow as well from fast as well so we will update the value of slow as like uh, we will update the value of slow as nums of slow so nums of zero nums of zero you are going to get three similarly fast we are going to update fast we are going to update as nums of fast so you are going to get what nums of fast nums of four you are going to get two so fast would be here right so again we are going to again we are going to update the value of slow so this time slow will be pointing to this two so again we are going to update the value of again we are going to update the value of false so what you will get so before false was pointing to this two so now it would be on it would be on four right let me let me do one thing let me let me draw it here so one three two four and then this loop is here right so first like fast was here only and we updated slow to be zero so slow move one step ahead fast move one step ahead then slow move one step ahead because see fast fast was where itself like fast was in the starting like when we are updating the value so fast was at fast was at 2 right so slow move one step ahead so we had 1 comma 2 right in the starting then fast we got 3 from here and fast move to 4 right and then and then again when we will update slow and fast so we will get 2 and 2 they both are pointing to the same position right they both are pointing to the same position so when they are pointing to the same position when we got that slow and fast has become equal we will stop right there and this is the duplicate point this is the duplicate point right hope you were able to understand let me let me let me uh, if you want let me reiterate so we were at 1 then 3 then 2 then 4 so slow value will be uh, we updated so slow came here and then what value we updated this fast was initially on what 4 so when we you know moved it one step ahead so fast came here then slow value will move one step ahead then fast value we moved one step ahead right then slow value we move one step ahead then fast value move one step ahead they came to the same node and this is the node which is the starting point of the of the cycle and that is only the duplicate node or the duplicate element that has to be returned right i hope that it makes sense now i hope that is clear now so now let's have a look on the code part for the same approach so there are certain other approaches as well that i discussed or mentioned in the starting right so you can go with these approaches but yes if interviewer because see this question also seems easy but when the interviewer is expecting you know, some sort of solution like this uh then we can say that it is a sort of um good level of problem because immediately coming up with this approach is not an easy thing especially when you haven't solved with this approach this problem before right 
other possibility of solving this problem was modifying the array you, you know negating the sign and all those things but again in that of course we are modifying the array and they have said that you don't have to modify the array so now let's have a look on the coding part so here if you will see we have two uh, pointers slow and fast slow and fast initialize with zero we'll continue in this loop till the time so while true and here we have capped this condition so slow equal equal fast which is obviously going to be true we have to break the loop and how we are updating so slow we are updating as nums of slow and fast as nums of nums of fast right so we already discussed this while discussing the approach the reason and how exactly it is working now what we will do next we will reset the slow value in the starting itself so that's why we made slow equal to zero and now we will continue in this loop till the time fast is not equal to slow once fast and slow are equal so this is the entry point of the or you can say the starting point of your cycle and that itself is a duplicate number and we have to return it so again we are this time we are moving one step slow as well as fast both are moving just one step nums of slow fast also nums of fast and at the end we are returning slow right so i hope you were able to understand i hope that it does make sense thank you so much for watching this video everyone keep learning keep preparing bye bye